Hi. So, I got done watching Invincible Season 2, and here is my review. Uh, it's okay. I, I like the conceptual things, like the bigger things that are happening. Uh, like, Mark, the final battle, you know, the final ap episode where he kills a guy, uh, is kind of a meh. I do get why it's such a big thing for him, but I, I, just, I just don't care. I'm more of a Nolan guy. I like him. I love J.K. Simmons. Why are we not spending enough time with J.K. Simmons? <laughs> the first season of Invincible kind of starts off with uh, Mark trying to be a superhero, and there's a whole kind of thing going on with J.K. Simmons, right? Being a bad guy, but Mark not knowing it. And there's this impending doom. And that's what the, makes the first season interesting. And the second, and, and for the second season, the question is, what is now going to happen that, well, J.K. Simmons isn't there anymore? How is that going to affect Mark and how, you know, his life will keep continuing on? In the first episode, we kind of see what is happening, how J.K. Simmons' wife and uh, Mark is dealing with that. And, you know, Invincible keeps saying, I'm not my dad, and everybody's, like, questioning it and are, like, mistrusting about it. But... That's like the first half. That's like only the four episodes. It's more of a, it kind of goes through it. And when it hits the four episode, there is like a huge gap. I didn't even know it was returning. I, I just knew it because that, the night it returned, I was hanging out with my friends and one of my friends said, oh yeah, by the way, um, the second half of Invincible is coming out and I just watched it. That's the only way I got it. There was like no advertisement for it. Um, the only advertisement I saw for the first half of it, you know, season two, was just a trailer and other people on my YouTube shorts saying, oh, um, Inv Invincible season two is coming out and giving their thoughts about it. I didn't see any advertisement for it, but then again, I, I don't keep up with ads. I have, um, I only go to YouTube and I have a premium for it. So that's probably why I never <laughs> heard, heard that season two was coming out. Or maybe they could have done something else. Maybe other people knew more about it and were aware that it was coming out. But for me, there wasn't a lot of ad advertisement for it and it wasn't that much of a hype for... I don't know. It seemed like Amazon really didn't care that, <laughs> that it was coming out again like, like for the season two. They were just trusting that this franchise has a fan base now and they're just gonna accept whatever they <laughs> gonna throw at them anyway uh, another issue that i have with the show is it's not clear who the show is trying to target like it is an animated show and based on that more younger people are going to be attracted to it however there's a lot of gore in it and violence <laughs> but they also have dumb shit like teenager Riverdale bitch <laughs> basic bitch romantic stuff in it which I don't know you could do it better and you are trying but I don't, I don't know <laughs> it's like they heard all, all the complaints about Amber and they just hyper focused on her and just kind of ignored everyone else like I see the relationship between the immortal and duplicate and I do not care what, what is they like uh, two minutes of relationship and they're like <laughs> they want me to be invested when she dies I I do not care I do not feel invested in these people and I even forgot um, you know the relationship between robot and monster because all of these heroes basically suck there is nothing drawing me in the only thing I like about the show is JK Simmons and you know the title character but that's because we are always following him so we know more about him just like a whole hour in each episode actually I might be wrong about that but there is only like 20 to 30 minutes that I care about like 20 minutes just is basically a soup of nothing 
where only stuff happens is that nobody gives a damn about. If you want to build a you know a strong relationship or imply that more these people are having. Hey, future Saul. Uh, so I think I made a mistake over here. Uh, I basically went on a rant about something else. So I'm just gonna say what I was what I was trying to say back here it was that if you want me to be invested in these people and the relationships, maybe actually show the relationship, not just a problem. You know, uh, m make me feel like they're actually having fun and make it a bit more presentable, like not so cringy so that I actually watch the thing and care more about them. Uh, anyway, back to the original video. You're going, please don't show me the sex. That is awkward and I do not want to watch that, all right? You, you can imply it, I get it. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I do not want to see that. Some people might be like, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, but that's not me, right? I, do, I don't care if you want to show them growing together, you know, being a bit more of a relationship, maybe show them doing their hobbies or something else. I do not need to see them actually uh, fucking, all right? And I might be wrong about this because I do skip those scenes. I basically, I love the fights, but some of, you know, there are shortcuts, some places, the animation doesn't really look good some, in, in some frames. And they do this fucking thing in the second half of the season, where they're like, uh, it's basically pandering bullshit. I do not give a damn about the basic bitch, <laughs> you know, the tropes every animated uh, cartoon does, but doesn't tell you because they trust that you're intelligent enough to figure that out on yourself. It... I... Anyway, uh, I love the show. I like the concept. In this genre, uh, there isn't an, enough talk about death or how did you know death really affects superheroes or stuff like that. I like that, and and this creates like a new. Well, this is a series that creates that setting and kind of deals with it. The world is more aged. Like um, the pre premier superheroes were a thing, and now the world is left to their sidekicks. Except for the immortal, because uh, he's basically Superman but weaker. And Superman in DC is basically kind of transfers. I think I think that would be a general continuation. This world feels like a continuation of any other superhero world, and where that would lead to. But. The, the people in it are so goddamn lame, <laughs> right? There's only like a few people that I'm interested in and that's it. Anyway, I built this guy a few days ago and yeah, yeah you can. So he's super cool. Yeah, and that's it, bye bye. <laughs>